what, what kind of angle do you have?
All right. You go, go ahead. All right. That should be 11 minutes. 11 minutes? 11 minutes. All right, try now. Yep, there you go. Hey guys, welcome to Forward Southwest. And today's match we'll have Diamond Hill Jarvis versus Arlington Heights. Should be a good matchup. Two great schools. Let me see who comes out with a dub today. And I also have my partner, Dylan Craver, who's shy to talk right now, but y'all hear him in a minute. <laughs> Good. Go. Yes. Let's do it, Nelson. Yeah. And Arthur Heights off. wins the tips off. Oh my God, let's go. Number 23 with possession. Uh, to Heist moving the ball up the court. He, he looks nice. He knows what he's doing. And, oh. <laughs> Diamond Hill, number 10, dribbles down the court. Passes the ball. But Arlington Heist gets the ball right back. They drive the ball up the court. Pushing a rock. She passes the ball. It goes up for the leg. Like this. Doesn't quite make it. Oh, Ooh, he rebounds rebound. the ball. Good rebound. Uh, goes out on Arlington Heights. That's a great rebound by Arlington Heights. That kid is athletic. Number five for Arlington Heights. Number five passes the ball. Number 14 dribbles down the court. The defense from Arlington Heights is strong. Arlington Heights gets the ball back. Oh my God, Arlington Heights has amazing defense right now. That's their third steal of today's matchup. Pass the, the ball. Arlington Heights shoots it. Oh, he misses it. Goes back up though, number 17. He misses again. Number five goes up, he misses. They're trying. Number one goes down the court. Passes. It's a great pass. Goes up. Oh! Heights, number 14. Great shot by Diamond Hill Jarvis. Great shot. Number 14 pulls up for a mid. That was a great shot. 2-0, Diamond Hill Jarvis. Arlington Heights trying to figure it out. Oh, he takes it himself. Oh, he misses the lay. Number five on Diamond Hill. Oh, number, number 17, number though. He has, he has number a good. 14 oh, again. 14 again. Shoots the ball. Oh, doesn't That's not it. They got a timeout. For, oh, no. I'm sorry. It's a foul. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is a timeout. Talk a little bit. So, Dylan, what do you think that Arlington Heights needs to do back in this game? They're only down by two. Um, I, think, I think their defense is pretty good. I think they just need to work on their scoring, and I think they'll be pretty good. Yeah, I'll say the same. If they could just work on their scoring – and uh, stuff like that. I think they'll be good. This is two competitive teams, though. Both teams have athletic players. Let's see how Arts and Heights comes back after this timeout. Man. Okay. Arts and Heights. Pushing the ball up the court. Oh, that's my dog right here. I like him. He know what he's doing. Number 23 looking for something right now. Oh, 
Passes the ball to number five. Pass. Pass. 17. Uh oh. Goes up for the lay. Hey! Great lay by Arlington Heights. That's going to give them two on the board. It's a tie game. Eight minutes, 20 seconds on the clock. It's a competitive game. Let's see what uh, Diamond Hill Jarvis does. Come back up the court. We're going to have a sub for number five from Arlington Heights. Brings in a tall kid from Arlington Heights, number 20. Decent side kid. That gives Arlington Heights some advantage, don't you think? I think so. I think so. I think they could score up in the post. But let's see what how Diamond Hill yeah. reacts to this. They've been playing some good offense tonight. Diamond Hill Jarvis passes the ball. Passes another ball to number 14, but he gets an intercepted. A steal yeah. by Arlington Heights. Oh, my God. 17 is pushing it up the court. Oh, and he misses the lane. It's okay. It's going to be Diamond Hill Jarvis ball. Good hustle. Good hustle. Hey, man. If they could just break down and finish those legs, oh my God! Both teams they do the same thing. It's sub by Arlington Heights. It's crazy, man. It's a great game. I agree. And Diamond Hill dribbles the ball up the court, looking for something. She's still dribbling. She passes the ball. Number 14, Number 14 takes that shot. Uh, it's not it. It's okay, though. He'll bounce back. Oh, my God. He traveled. Number 20 traveled. And Diamond Hill has the ball again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to give him the bucket. Red said he traveled. I guess they gave it to him. No, it's 4 2. With the ball again. He's looking for something. <laughs> Number one from Arlington House. She's looking for that. She didn't get it. It's okay. That man Jarvis pushing the ball up the court. He's looking for something. He's stumbling. Just misses the lay. Number 30. Oh! It's in. Great shot by Arlington Heights. That pushed him up by four points. As I told you before, I'll tell you again, Arlington Heights, they're going to move this ball. Keep the same momentum and the same pace. They're playing good basketball right now. Diamond Hill. Oh, Diamond Hill Jarvis takes shot. a shot. It's a midi. She air balls. It's okay. Still a great shot. Number 33 on Arlington Heights dribbles up the court. Passes. Number 20. Shoots the three. That, and it doesn't quite make it. That, that was not a good shot by number 20. Got to take better shots. If you want to win this game. Diamond Hill Jarvis pushes the ball up the court. Takes a midi, puts too much mustard on the kid. It's okay. I'm gonna have a substitution for Arlington Heights. I'm gonna sub in number 10 for number 23. Another female jacket on the court. So what do you think um, Dominic Hill Jarvis needs to do to bounce back to this game? They only down by four. I think they need to get possession of the ball whenever it's a 50-50, but I think they're doing pretty good so far. Yeah, I think both teams are doing pretty well. If Diamond Hill Jarvis can just push the ball down the court, make easy buckets, I think they'll be fine. It's just all about communication and passing the ball. I think they'll be fine, though. Both teams are playing pretty decent right now. Arlington Heights with possession of the ball. Goes up. Uh, doesn't quite make it. And Diamond Hill gets the rebound. Oh, Diamond Hill Jarvis stepped out of bounds when they had the position of the ball. It's going to be a Yellow Jackets ball. And the Yellow Jackets has the ball. She shoots the ball, and she, she makes, makes it. it. Great shot by Arlington Heights. 
A wonderful shot. Oh, Diamond Hill on the quick counterattack. Oh, my God. That was a great shot by the Yellow Jackets. Diamond Hill Jarvis has the ball, pushing the ball up the court. Passes. Passes the ball. She's looking to shoot it. Everybody's telling her to shoot it. She, <laughs> she don't want to shoot it. She's looking for something. She passes the ball. Diamond Hill Jarvis shoots it. Just barely missed it. Arlington Heights dribbles back down the court. Oh, here come those Yellow Jackets. Oh, but he loses oh, the ball. A steal by Diamond Hill. Oh, my God. Diamond Hill Jarvis is coming back up the court. Looking for something. Goes up. Uh, doesn't quite make it. Yeah. Number 33, Arlington Heights dribbles back down the court. Looking for something. Diamond Hill oh, Jarvis gets the ball steal. back. Oh, my God. Great turnover. Looking for something. Oh, number five shoots. Oh, oh she, she just misses. barely missed it. That was a great shot by Diamond Hill Jarvis. What do you think, boss? I said Boston. I'm sorry, Dylan. That that you think that Diamond Hill Jarvis needs to do the bounce back in this game? Um, I think they just got to make those shots. They have a lot of chances, and they're getting closer and closer each time. Yeah, I just gotta keep playing as a team. They're not doing bad though. They're making possessions for each other. Just gotta keep playing. Diamond Hill Jarvis drives up the ball. Easy lay. No good. She goes back up and she makes that one. That puts Diamond Hill Jarvis back on the board. Four-point game. And it's the game that people pay to see. It's a four-point game. Still got a minute in this first half. By the way, guys, this is a two-half game. They play 11 minutes, two halves. So we're in for a good one. Arnton Hanks has the ball. Pass it. 33 looking for it. I know he's going to shoot it. Oh, oh, so close. So close. Barely missed. It was a great shot. Diamond Hill Jarvis is pushing the ball back up, though. Arlington Heights is lurking. Oh. She shoots it. Oh, oh. she makes it. Tough shot behind the backboard, and she still makes it. What a great shot by Diamond Hill Jarvis. Wonderful shot. Something that I was not expecting. Me either. That was a great, great, great shot. That was a great shot. Looks like we have a sub by Diamond Hill. Oh, my God. I'm still on that amazing shot. That was just shot by Diamond Hill Jarvis. I didn't. That, that was crazy. She shot it behind the backboard and still made the shot with her left hand. That was crazy, Dylan. Yep, yep. And with 40 seconds left on the clock, Arlington Heights gets possession of the ball. Oh, what a great pass for all the times, but she just barely misses it. Diamond Hill gets the ball, <coughs> dribbles down the court. 30 seconds left on the clock. Goes up. Oh, oh, oh she's so, so close. close. Oh, my God. Goes she goes up. back up. Oh, uh, put it back. Uh, oh, keep shooting it. Keep shooting it. Put it back up. Hey, she, oh, my God. Uh, hey, great effort by effort. Diamond Hill Jarvis. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Oh. oh Arlington Heights. Arlington Heights gets possession of Eight the ball. Eight seconds. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Ah! Uh, doesn't get it off in time. Man, and that is the first half. Six to eight. We'll go to our two-minute half and be back in two minutes for our next half. Man, so what do you feel that both teams are doing well? Um, I think both teams are getting a lot of steals, a lot of good defense. Um... Yeah. What do you think? What do you think both teams are doing good? Uh, playing together, just working as a group. Um, I think both teams are doing real well. Diamond Hill Jarvis has made a lot of good, a lot of good shots. They have some heart on that side. I can see that. But Arlington Heights has a lot of size and speed, and they're using that to their advantage to win this game right now. But I think Diamond Hill Jarvis can pull it off. I'm rooting for both teams. I just, it's just Diamond Hill Jarvis. I just, I love the effort that they have. I love the aggression that they're playing with. So it's going to come down to a close game, and we'll just see who wins. But both teams are playing good. What do you think both teams can work on? Um, I agree that Diamond Hill has a lot of good effort with the score of 6-8. to eight. I think it's a really close game. It could be anybody's game. Um, I think uh, the good steals and everything uh, play a big factor. I think they just got to finish the ball, uh, keep passing like they're doing, keep hustling, and 
it would be a really good game. <laughs> yeah, man. So we've got 40 seconds coming back in the half. And we're back. The half's gonna start. <laughs> A little commotion with the refs, man. We got some good people out here today at Forward Top with us. It's amazing to be here. Seeing everybody just getting along, playing a good game of basketball. I love to see it. And we're back. At the start of the second half, it looks like Diamond Hill is gonna get possession of the ball. Yep. Let's see what they do. Hopefully they score on the first drive. I'm hoping. Diamond Hill Jarvis has the possession, passes the ball. Great pass by Diamond Hill Jarvis. Looking for something oh, by good Arlington defense Heights. by Arlington Heights. Oh, my God. Great steal. Number 17 has some speed He's on him now. He's by himself. He's looking for it. He shoots it. Oh, Barely misses. good rebound by number five. Oh, my God. He Goes shoots it. Goes up for the mid. Oh, great shot. Arlington Heights is playing aggressive now. <laughs> looking for something. Shoots it. No good. It's okay, though. It's going to be the uh, Diamond Hill Jarvis ball. Man, like I told you before, Dominic Hill Jarvis has a lot of a lot of great players, but Arlington Heights has that speed, that power, that strength. Yep, yep. But one thing, it looks like Diamond Hill is not gonna give up. They're gonna keep pushing them. Yeah, they're gonna keep pushing, man. Now he shoots a three. Great shot. Just gotta put some more honey on it. It's okay though. White ball, Dominic Hill Jarvis ball again. So see if they can score on this possession. Key players for Dominic Hill Jarvis, I'll say, is number 14. He's been shooting the ball a lot tonight. He's a great athlete. I agree, I agree. Oh, she hits him with a jab step. Oh, good defense by Arlington Heights. Nowhere to go. I like her. She she has amazing effort and power. She she can play the game of basketball for me, I promise you. She she's playing really well. Number three gets the ball for Dominic Hill Jarvis. She shoots it. She oh, makes she it. makes it. <laughs> oh, my God. Great shot by Dominic Hill Jarvis. We have a tied game, 8-8. Eight, eight. Man, she is one of their key players. The smallest on the court but has the most heart. That's a promise. Yep. Great shot by Dominic Hill Jarvis. That ties the game up 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, ball out on Arlington Heights. Man, that goes back to what you just said, Dylan. Just having that. That faith, like, Dominic Hill Jarvis is not going to give up. And as you see, they just came back from a six-point deficit. It's crazy. And we have a sub on Arlington Heights with Diamond Hill. Oh, oh she Arlington passed. Heights gets the ball. Oh. Uh-oh. She dribbling down the court. It's a good spread. She's looking for something. 17 oh. coming with that defense. He shoots it. Ooh, oh. Just a little bit wide. That's a great shot, though. I can't mad. I can't be mad. It's a great shot. Man, this game coming down to crunch time. It's eight minutes on the clock. All right, so Heights has the ball. Passes it in. Jimmy the ball up the court. And there goes number 17. We've been seeing him all night. That's a great play. Oh, a good backwards pass to 24. Oh, he's looking. He shoots it. Left hand. No good. Oh, number, number five puts five. it back up. Easy lay. Great layup by Arlington Heights. Arlington Heights takes the lead again. He's not. Oh, my Ooh. God. What a great shot. shot. 
by downhill Jarvis. And that goes again with that effort. They do not give up. When soon as Arlington Heights shoots the basket, Diamond Hill gets it right back, makes another one. They have a head to head, cheek to cheek matchup. And there goes number 17. 17. Oh. Back at it again. Oh, that's a great shot. Ooh, oh, so oh, my God. I thought he was going to admit it. I thought oh, he was going to Number 14. Oh, doesn't quite get it. Man, I love this game. This, this is two great teams. You can really see the heart and the passion in each of these teams hustling for the ball. Man, I just really have a great feeling that number three for Diamond Hill Drivers is going to do something the same tonight. She's been shooting the lights out. Arta Heights has the ball. Oh, they could have shoots it no good. Arlington Heights, Just keep shooting. Still looking for something. Misses. Number 17. Uh-oh. And it goes in. Great shot by Arlington Heights. Great shot. I think we're going to have officials timeout, a little bit of commotion. After a bit of commotion, Diamond Hill Jarvis has the ball. Tough game, 10-10, looking for something. Diamond Hill Jarvis is pushing up, but Arnita Heights steals the ball. Number 17, it's a fast kick. Love to see him play. Goes up by himself. Good shoots shot. It. Oh, he shoots it again, though. Gets his own rebound. And oh. oh spins around the rim, but doesn't quite a make it. A spin Rooney with a toilet bowl. That's a great shot, though, by number 17 for Arnita Heights. Number 33 is pushing the ball up. Easy in the post. Oh, it's a close shot. Arantai still looking for something. 17 shoots it, makes it. Great bucket by Arlington Heights. That's going to be 12-10 Arlington Heights. Arlington Heights steals the ball from Diamond Hill, goes down the court. Oh, there goes number 17 again. Goes up for the lay. And he makes and it again. In. Number 17 is on a roll. I think he has six points. He's been scoring a lot of buckets tonight. Definitely a core player for this team. Oh, my God. Phenomenal player. Number 17 for Arlington Heights. Love to see the kid play. And if anybody knows, my number is 17. So I'd love to see another 17 shining. <laughs> oh, there goes Diamond Hill Jarvis back with another score. Man, this is some real competition basketball. High score, 12 to 14, five minutes on the clock. This is going to come down to the nail. Diamond Hill steals a ball from Arlington Heights. Looking for something. Great pass. Great pass. Yes. Number 14. He's looking for a great Ooh, a pass. Nice pass. She shoots it. Ah, uh, she, she barely misses it. It was a great shot. Ooh, great offense. Number 17. Number 33 goes up, and it's in. 
Another shot, great shot by Arlington Heights. That puts them back up by four points. It'll be 16-12, four minutes on the clock. Man, I love to see these two teams play. This is a real. We're going to have a sub from Arlington Heights. Number 10 is going to sub in for number 17. Man, two great teams. I love to see this. This, this is amazing. It's a blessing to even watch this right now. Two great teams in the present. Arlington Heights and Dominic Hill Jarvis. Oh, number 23 back here. I'll call him Michael Jordan because he can shoot that rock for sure. He's dribbling. He's looking for something. Passes to number five. Back to number 23. Oh, he shoots it. Oh, what a great shot. I cannot complain. That's a great shot. I thought he was going to make it. Me too, I haven't seen too. one of those shots since the old NBA. Oh, my God. That was a great shot. Tommy Hill has position on the ball again. Pass to number 14. Well, that's a three. Ooh. Oh. Close, close. The other one I thought, when I tell you, I thought he made that shot. Oh, my God. That was a great shot. Got a sub for uh, Arlington Heights. Number 14 goes out. Oh, we have a sub in for Diamond Hill Jarvis also. Have a little confusion on the sideline. Arlington Heights ball, 16-12. Number 10 is dribbling the ball. And st stolen by Diamond Hill. It's okay. Diamond Hill Jarvis is looking for something. Dribbling up the court. Oh, she's wide open for a shot. Oh, oh she barely misses, but they gain Mr. a resistance back. Oh, she, oh. oh. So close once again. Oh, my God. Look. Diamond Hill Jarvis is. Getting to my skin right now. They have so many opportunities. Oh, oh that's a steal. great steal by Diamond Hill. Oh, my God. What a great steal. Have him dribbling up the court. Goes up. Oh, uh, too much. Too much mustard. It's okay. Still a great layup. Out of time, he has the ball. I plan to think that they'll just try to dribble it out. Oh, ball hits the foot. It'll be Diamond Hill Jarvis. Ball. One minute. In 25 seconds. It is 12 to 16. Arlington Heights is winning. Diamond Hill goes down the court. <coughs> Passes. Shoots it. Oh, yes. oh and it goes in. <laughs> oh, my God. What a great shot by Diamond Hill Jarvis. That puts them only down by two. With like one I minute said, left, this could be anybody's game still. Like I said earlier, this is going to come down. down. One minute left. Man, this is so amazing to watch right now. 50 seconds on the clock. Dummy Hill Jarvis on the down by two. Who will come out victorious? Oh, oh Dozy Holmes has the ball. 20 <laughs> seconds left. Last possible chance to score. Come on. Come on, Dummy Hill Jarvis. And a player oh. wide open goes up. Oh, oh so he barely close. missed. Gets the rebound. Up again. Oh. Tied game with 25 oh seconds left. Oh my God! 16, 16, 20 seconds on the clock. Let's see if Arlington Heights can regain their lead. <laughs> Who's gonna win this game? Arlington Heights gets, gets the ball again. Passes it. Oh my God! Five, four, three, <laughs> two, oh, it's a tie one. game. Oh my God! And with time up, we have a tied game of 16 to 16. Are we going into overtime? <laughs> Are we going into overtime? One, One minute, minute overtime. overtime. Oh, my God. That is crazy. This is, uh, this is, oh, my God. This is crazy. 
Man, I love to see this. This this is amazing. Two great teams. Going to overtime. The winner of this game will go up to face Southwest. And the next game we'll have at, I'll say, 11 o'clock, it will be Southwest versus Delmar, which should be another great game. And the loser of this game will play at 11.20 in the back gym. Man, let's, let's make your bets. Who do you oh, think man. will win this game? Uh, it really could go either way. I'm thinking, I really think Diamond Hill could pull this off. They've had a great comeback. Man, this, this is hard to pick. This is a nail biter, like I said. So, correction, first one to score wins this game. So it could be on either team. Diamond Hill Darvis or Arlington Heights. Arlington Heights is Oh, her cut's number 17. He oh, shoots a three. A three. Oh. oh. What a great side by number 17 for Arlington Heights. Oh. 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 That's a foul. Diamond Hill Darvis ball. Bro. I am sweating over what here. What a great shot by number 17. Almost scored. Oh, my God. That kid can shoot the lights out the gym, dog. <laughs> now we have Jarvis is pushing up. Number 17 looking for something. A nice spin move. Oh. 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 Executive passes. <laughs> number 17 is on everybody. He wants it. He's looking for something. Oh, number, number 17, 17 steals gets the, the ball. ball. Can he end this game? Oh! Oh, oh, he just barely misses the shot. And Diamond Hill with the rebound. Oh! Number Open six. Diamond Hill Oh! Number 17. Number 17 is pushing that right. He has a in. wide open lane. Come on. And. On the heights. Oh! Oh, great steal by Diamond Hill Jarvis. Oh my God, I thought number 17 had it. He's looking for a steal, I see it. He's back on defense. Oh, great pass. Diamond Hill Jarvis is looking for something. Oh, and once again, a steal from number 17. He's looking for something, great shot. Oh. Ah, number 33 has it. Shoot, oh, he's looking for it, shoots it. Scores! Oh. Arlington, Arlington Heights wins the game. Arlington Heights, the Yellow Jackets in overtime, win by two points. But what a great game by both teams. It was it was it was great to watch. I'm, I'm proud of both teams. This was a great game. I agree. Man, and your final score here at Southwest High School. Your Arlington Heights Yellow Jackets, 18. And your Dumb Hill Jarvis Eagles, 16. Great game by both teams. I agree. And right. we'll be back for the next game. Southwest versus Dunbar. And now I'll be exclusive to you starting at at least five minutes. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be right back.
just these. So okay, the rest so of them are eight. Yes, so the rest of them are eight. So you don't have to worry about it. These are the ones you can eat. Do y'all want to write the numbers down? You want to write the numbers You want to say the name? Oh, we can? Whoever's not running the scoreboard, look at the number and tell us who the, the number and the name is when they make the shot. So you have to do that. And we start off our second match of the here we go. Uh oh, we got a little fast. Got a little, little speed on side deals. Shoots. Oh, no good. 17 wide. puts it up. No, here we go. Foul and one. All right. Oh, we have Odie White versus Dunbar. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I thought that was South Hills with that black and white. All right. Dunbar goes down the court and it's great steal. still. Uh, Odie White cuts back. Passes, the ball goes up. Hey, you know and it's what? A good lay. Odie Wyatt. The shuffle ups. Looking for something amazing. I like that. Great speed, great hustle by Odie Wyatt. Dunbar. Drew was back down the court. Odie White gets his. I'm sorry, guys. We're back. Odie White's ball passes in and deflected off of a Dunbar player. Odie oh, Wise right. ball. Number 17 is looking for something. Good split. Oh, never mind. He gets picked. Right here, right here. Oh, that's a big boy from five. Dunbar. Hold on. That boy, that boy is slow. Oh, from, Dun <laughs> from Dunbar. That boy is strong now. A bit too much power on that, but yeah. a good pass. Yeah, 35, a football player. Go ahead and bring that to Southwest now. <laughs> Odie White takes it down the court. Quick pass. Looking for something. And Dunbar gets possession of the ball. Okay. If y'all need the numbers, just let us know. Great passes by Dunbar. But Odie White gets the steal and goes down the court. Odie White, number 17, dribbles the ball, looks for a split, goes easy up. lay. Great lay by Odie Wyatt. Oh, who did that? Odie White, Nice three by number 40 on Dunbar, but doesn't quite make it.
Odie White has possession of the ball. Nice passes. Shoots a three. Uh oh, he almost had it. Now, great shot. Dunbar with some great passes and great fakes. Uh oh, deep shot. Ooh, so I thought he hit it. <laughs> Odie Wyatt on the quick counterattack. Goes up for the lay. Oh! So close. Hit a little, you know, a little James Harden. I, you know, he didn't play before. I like him. That's not it. Odie Wyatt on the counterattack. <laughs> oh, good defense by Dunbar. Oh, a quick stop, but doesn't quite make it. Foul! My dumb bar. A sub by Odie White. Subs on both sides. Oh, who is this big kid that just stepped in the building? About 6'5", 303 pounds from Dunbar. Oh, Odie White. Oh, Odie White with the three. What a great three. Deal by Dunbar, goes up for the lay, and it's. Odie Wyatt leading nine to two. In the game. Sorry guys, I might see me come up with Kyle Terry be on the court when Dunbar plays Southwest. And Ooh. With a nice layup. <laughs> Crazy lay. Let's see if Dunbar can react to this. <laughs> oh, and it's stolen by Odie Wyatt. Goes up again with some pressure. Ah. Uh, oh. Subs on both sides. Dunbar passes the ball in. Slowly but surely dribbles down the court. Nice in between passes. And it's deflected off of Odie White. And it's Dunbar's ball once again. And a 
short three by number 21. Oh, stolen by Odie White. Oh, stolen again by Dunbar. Oh, Odie White gets the rebound. Quick counterattack, dribbling, taking it by himself. We're back. Subs on both sides. <laughs> Score 11 to four with 20 seconds left in his first half. Dunbar trailing. <laughs> oh, Odie White gets the ball. Goes up. Oh, and makes the contested lay. <laughs> With zero seconds left on the clock. What a great lay by Odie Wyatt. That is too easy for Odie Wyatt. We'll be back in two minutes. And his second half starts with Dunbar getting the ball. Score 13 to 4. OD wide on top. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Dunbar trailing. Brings the ball up the court. Goes up for the lay. Okay, he got a little, he got a little sauce to him. Number 24 ODY. 
Oh, get oh. Pe gets peeled. Retain position. Ooh, with the fake. Oh, goes up, gets fouled. Yes. Odie Wyatt gets the ball. Shoots the mid. Ooh. Odie Wyatt, man, pulling out some great shots tonight. I agree. Hey, this is crazy. crazy. Not be stopped. 15 6, Odie Wyatt. Odie White down the court once again. Ooh. Pulls up but doesn't make it. Number 21 makes another lay. Number 20 with the ball again. Good handles. Looking for someone. Oh, foul. Rush didn't call it. Dunbar with the counter attack. Number 35 shoots a three. Ah, oh, too much power. A pass to number 10. Ah, oh, and so tough close, shot. so close. Mm, Dunbar <laughs> making a comeback with the score now 15 to 10. Some subs. Odie Wyatt takes it down the court. Seven minutes left. Shoots a three. Uh, doesn't quite make it. Oh, oh, oh. And getting physical out here. Uh, a little football action. down the court. Some handles. Pass it to 10, shoots a three. Gets the rebound and a quick layup. Has some subs for both teams. <laughs> Number ten shoots another three. Ah, oh, so close. Dunbar with the counter attack. Pump fake. And Odie White gets the ball once again. Defense. Man, Our oh, yeah. Great lay by Odie White. The separate Play that one back. Man, we had a replay, dog. Jesus. Great lay by number 17. Shot by Dunbar, not it. 
That is. Oh, great shot by number 13, just a little wide to the left side. Very hard defense, and O.D. White gets the ball back. Up the court, goes up for the and next and one. one. For the second time tonight. He's getting the boys in there. Number 17 is on a roll. <laughs> and it looks like that shot did not count. And Dunbar will get the ball. Dunbar dribbles down the court. Dunbar gets the ball once again. Trying to make a comeback, shoots a three. Uh, doesn't quite make it. And looks like it's gonna be Dunbar's ball once again. Cody White gets the rebound and dribbles down the court. Ooh, some nice skills. Slowing it down. Looking for someone to pass to. Goes oh. up and shoots it himself. Okay. Close, close, close. And 20 gets the rebound. And after a foul, looks like ODY is going to get the ball again. In the sub on Dunbar. <laughs> Got two minutes, 15 seconds left on the clock. Let's see what the Chaparral is going to continue to do. As they keep with this oh, lead. Oh, that's a good pick. Good defense by Dunbar. Yep. Easy lay for Dunbar. That score is now 12 to 19. Two minutes flat on the clock. Number 20 dribbles back down the court. Looking for something. Ah, oh, loses the ball that's and Dunbar goes down. Dunbar is looking to come back in this game. I see what they're trying to do. One minute, 40 seconds 40 left. seconds on the clock. We have a score of 19 to 14. And it looks like we have a timeout. So Raylan, do you think that Odie White can hold on to their lead? Yeah, they've been playing great all night. I mean, I don't see nothing stopping the chaparrales.
Well, we have scores 19 to 14. Chaparral's winning one minute and 39 seconds left on the clock. It's coming down to the nail biter. Let's see what the Chaparral's do. They have the possession of the ball. Number 17. Uh oh. Takes it. Good pass. Outside Shot. pass. Two to three. Oh. Uh, come Almost. down. Dunbar. Dunbar trying Let's to come back. Do. Defense looking heavy. Foul oh. one. That's going to bring the score to 19 16. Dunbar down by three points. They're coming back from a 12 point deficit. This is crazy. Yep. Man, one minute and five seconds left on the clock. And ODY looks determined to keep their lead. Man, I wonder what they're going to do. Try to back him up. Fade, Ooh. that's no good. We're going to have a foul on Dunbar. 50 seconds left. Odie Wyatt's ball. If Odie Wyatt wants to keep their lead, they got to go ahead and dish the ball out. Easy lane. Oh. And another foul on number 40. Odie Wyatt's ball. I think this game is going to come down with the Chaparral's winning the game. We have 19. 16, 30 seconds left on the clock. I think they're just going to run it out. Chaparral's looking for something. Passes the ball. Shoots, Shoots a three. deep shot. Ooh, and that's going to end the game. In. That's going to end the game yep. right there. They take a crazy shot. In a, oh, in a deep three. Doesn't quite make it. No, they did it. ODY did. ODY just shot the three. ODY shot the three. That was ODY it. That's what it say. She gave it to Odie White. Tweaking. Odie White, two seconds left on the clock, and this game is over. <laughs> Odie White comes out on top 21 to 16. That's the game, man. Great game by both teams. Odie White just charms to pull it off. And hey, Dylan, what's the next game we have? Uh, looks like our next game is going to be at 11.55. So I think we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back. All right.
Welcome back to the 2024 Unified Basketball Tournament. Facing off, we have Southwest versus Odie Wyatt. Odie Wyatt, or Southwest wins a tip off, but he goes out of bounds. Odie Wyatt comes up with a quick layup. Southwest dribbling down the court. Looking for someone to pass to. Odie Wyatt steals the ball and quickly dribbles down the court. Cody White inbounds the ball, shoots a three, but doesn't quite make it. Southwest dribbles. Some good defense by Odie Wyatt. Pass to number 20, goes up, doesn't quite make the mid shot. Up in the post, number 23 goes up, and it's in. Southwest two, ODY two. Looks like we have a foul. Odie, by, Odie White has the ball again. Ooh, and shoots a three. Southwest on the, Southwest on the counter attack. And it's stolen by Odie White once again. Goes up hard and gets an easy way. Looking for someone to pass through the Raiders and have the ball. Travel call on Southwest. And we have a sub. Odie Wyatt inbounds the ball. Some nice passes and good handling. Shoots a three and it's in. The second ODY three of the game, leaving the score to 10 to 2. ODY in the lead. Southwest making a comeback. Takes one defender, passes the ball. Goes up and misses the layup. Southwest ball. Southwest retains position of the ball, shoots it, and doesn't try to make it. Odie Wyatt on the counterattack. Goes up hard for the layup and misses. We have a foul on Southwest. Number 
Tim. Back at it again with a good pass in. ODY doesn't quite make it. The ball stays in, and Southwest has possession. Southwest misses, and ODY gets the ball. Takes the ball up. Go, Joshua, don't do that. Go. Pass it, pass it. Good defense and a missed shot. Southwest shoots a three, it's so close. In a nice layup by ODY, but it looked like it's not gonna count. Some subs for it looks like just Southwest. Southwest takes the ball back, goes up for the lay, and it's in. Southwest now with four to the ODY. At Ten lead. Southwest gets the rebound. Goes down the court. A, a quick screen. Goes up for another lay, and it's in. Dribbling with some hard pressure. Passes up Southwest. And a nice layup. Some subs on Odie Wyatt's side.
Southwest down by six. Goes up with a quick spin move. Some nice passes. And Odi White has the ball once again. 20 seconds left in the first half. A deep three doesn't make it. Odi White. Misses and Sackles gets the rebound. Trying to counterattack. And the ball goes out of bounds on Southwest. Five seconds left in the half. And at halftime, our score is 12 6 with Odie White in the lead. Starting up the second half, Southwest will get the ball. Score 12 6 with OD White on top. Oh, it looks like it's going to be Wyatt Ball. Looks like a foul on Southwest. Only where we get the ball. <laughs> and another foul on Southwest. Only White has the ball once again. Looks like things are getting a bit physical out here. Odie White goes up with the layup and makes it. Southwest trying to get their points back. Shoots. Oh, it doesn't quite make it. Gets the rebound. 
Southwest has the ball. Why he gets the rebound. A deep shot by ODY, but too much power on it. And ODY gets the ball once again. Looks like that shot's not going to count. Wyatt goes up for the layup and makes it. Score is now 16 to six. Oh, and Southwest with a missed shot. Odie Wyatt gets the rebound, goes up with another layup and it's in once again. Looks like that's not going to count. Southwest gets down the court. This is the shot. Odiwai gets the rebound. They're going down the court. Southwest pressuring hard. And Odiwai misses. Once again, Southwest going down. And we miss. Rebounded by Southwest. And Southwest scores. Cody White shoots and makes a three. Southwest shoots a three, but it doesn't quite make it. A bit of a jam here, and it looks like the ball is going to be Southwest. Southwest shoots another three. Hits the rim. Rebounded by Southwest. Looking for somewhere to go. Shoots one more three. Ah, uh, so close. And... Southwest goes up. Uh, and they miss once again. It looks like O.D. White's going to go down the court, but I love the hustle. O.D. White misses, and the ball's going to be Southwest. Southwest has the ball, dribbling down the court, looking for someone. Good defense, but it is by anyway. 
and ODY intercepts the ball going down the court. It looks like it's gonna be one on one. Shoots a deep shot, and almost makes it, but it spins out of the rim. ODY gets the ball one more time. Goes up for the lay, and it's in. Southwest passing back and forth, shoots the ball, and it slightly misses. Odui goes up, misses the layup. And it looks like the ball is going to be Southwest. Southwest dribbles the ball down the court. ODY on a fast break, but it goes out. Cody Wise shoots it, and Southwest gets the rebound. Oh, a close miss for Southwest, and Cody Wise gets position of the ball again. Good pressure by Southwest, but a great play by Cody Wise to get the basket. Southwest dribbles down. Looking for someone to pass to. Wide open, man. Uh, doesn't quite make it, just a bit wide. Odie White takes the ball down the court, shoots a deep ball. Doesn't quite make it. Southwest with the rebound. Good passes, and Odie White gets a missed shot. Odie White goes up and misses, and it looks like Southwest is going to get the rebound here. Dribbling down the court, shooting a very far shot. Just a bit too much power, though. Cody White goes up with the ball, passes it, wide open man, shoots a three, uh, just a bit too short. And we have 50 seconds left in this last half of the game. Southwest trailing eight to 23.
and a ooh, very close, very close miss by Southwest. Southwest shoots it, oh, and it's too short. But it looks like ODY is gonna get the rebound. Southwest with some hard pressure, but they get by. Shoots a three, and three seconds left. And it looks like ODY is gonna take this W with the final score, 23 to eight. ODY takes the victory.
Oh, it's a tip off. It looks like Dunbar's gonna get the ball. Dunbar shoots and misses. Goes out on. Looks like Dunbar. Oh, Dunbar's gonna get the ball. Southwest versus Dunbar. Oh my God, I'm back. The big 42 shoots and the air balls. Southwest taking the ball down the court, and it looks like it goes out on Dunbar. Yeah. Oh, no, it's going to be Dunbar's ball. Dunbar goes up and quickly. And Southwest oh. takes the ball back down the court. Let's go, let's go. Oh. Bro, I'm looking for something. Ring Looks around like the road. We have a traveling. <laughs> now like we're going down the court. Big man. And Lay. They got four? How did they get four? Oh, they scored two. I think, yeah. And some passes between Southwest. Good screen by Donovan Davis. Zach shoots, shoots, miss, air ball. And Odie White now has possession of the ball once again. Dunbar. Oh, wait, this is Dunbar. Yeah, Dunbar. Dunbar. Big man shoots. shoots a three. <laughs> Not it. Close, close. <laughs> All right, All right. <laughs> Some passes between Southwest once again. Donovan looking for something. Passes the ball. Big man trying to go up. Smothered in defense. It looks like a foul on Dunbar. It's going to be Southwest ball. Yeah. Dunbar carries the ball. Ah, oh, a missed opportunity for Dunbar. Southwest gets the ball. Taking the ball up. Ooh, some good skills. And the ball is stolen oh, by is the oh. Southwest gets the ball back. Goes up for the mid. Heavy defense. And Dunbar gets the ball. Out on Dunbar. It's going to be Southwest ball. Dylan, what do you think the Southwest runners have to do to get back in this game? Um, I think we have to finish down here. Um, we're getting a good amount of steals, but um, I think they need to work on their finishing just a little bit, continue to pass the ball, keep hustling, and I think they could make a comeback. Yeah. What do you think? I play as a team. We just continue to try to get buckets. Yep, yep. Dunbar's kind of doing a little cheating, though. But it's all good, man, at the Junior Divide Basketball Tournament. Here at Southwest. And Southwest retains possession of the ball. Pass. Fake. The pass. Ah. Uh, just a bit too short. Ah. And 
Dunbar. Oh, <laughs> makes him did. slide, but he stays on D. Looks like we have an injured player. He broke his finger for him. back and Dunbar gets a quick layup to make the score 6-0. Southways, dribbling down the court. Showing some skills. A quick pass. And Dunbar gets the ball. Dribbling down the court. Some good passes. Goes up. And another quick lay. Scores now 6-0. to zero. Southwest shoots a, ooh, a close three, but doesn't quite make it in. Dunbar with the three, but doesn't go in. Southwest now has possession of the ball. Ooh, and Southwest with the bucket. I see you now. <laughs> Good shot by Southwest. <laughs> Dunbar coming back, ah, oh, and it goes out on Dunbar. After a quick timeout, it looks like the Raiders are going to get the ball. Southwest inbounds the ball. Three minutes left in the first half. And a... Ooh! <laughs> Number 13 on Southwest shoots the three. Cuts <laughs> down to lead to only one. Hey, oh, that was a good shot. Ooh, really good back shot. To shoot another three and they miss. Southwest gets the ball. Ah, uh, a close shot. Southwest goes up and Southwest now has the lead. 
Donovan Davis. I see you, dog. <laughs> score is now seven to six. Southwest leading. Looks like that three pointer really brought some momentum to this team. Yes. <laughs> Southwest carrying the ball. And out on Dunbar. It's going to be Southwest ball. <laughs> Southwest gets their own rebound. Ah, oh, just a bit too much power in there. Southwest carrying the ball, looking for something. Shoots a, uh, a heavy three, but too much power on that one. Southwest hustles back down the court to, and good defense by Southwest makes Dunbar lose the ball. <laughs> one minute left on the clock. Southwest in the lead, giving the ball down. Jack has the ball. Passes to Donovan Davis. Donovan Davis for a layup. Oh, I so it. close. Puts it back up. In one. 35 seconds left on the clock. Let's see what Southwest can do. Dunbar takes it back, trying to get their points back. Some, some good jukes. And it looks like Southwest is going to uh, almost gets the ball back, but out of harm's way now. It's going to be Dunbar's ball. Five seconds left. And it looks like at halftime, we're going to have Southwest leading at nine and Dunbar trailing at six. I want to give a big shout out to one of our clock managers, Mrs. Tiandra, yes, doing her thing over there. She had her sidekick, Mrs. Big Head Heaven Hill. No.
I, I'm, I'm just meeting you. I'm, not, I'm just meeting you in there. Like you're very much important. We love you over here. All right. Very much welcome. And at the start of the second half, Cephalus has the ball. Uh, looks like a foul on Dunbar. Donovan Davis is inbounding the ball. Gives it to Zach. Oh, a steal by Dunbar. Wide open. Goes up and makes the layup. That brings the score to eight to nine with 10 minutes left on the clock. Looks like this is gonna be a close game. Could be anyone's. Looks like a missed shot from Seth List. Gives them by the ball on a counterattack. And a steal by Southwest. Oh, stolen back by Dunbar. And Dunbar scores. Zachariah brings up the ball, passes it down Donovan Davis. Oh, great pass by Donovan Davis. Sapley shoots, just misses. Gets oh. the rebound. Oh. oh. Looks like. Oh, we got a foul. We got a, we got a foul. Here's going to be Southwest. I won't say football. We'll play basketball. Southwest basketball. Oh, never mind. It's Dunbar's. And, oh, how? Yeah, okay. It looks like a foul on Dunbar. Stop the clock. <laughs> Looks like Dunbar struggling. He gets the ball, takes it down the court. Dunbar going up for it. Looks like a layup covered by defense. Shoots a mid and then misses. No good. Southwest. Oh, Dunbar gets the rebound. Misses a deep one. Now Southwest gets the rebound. Almost loses the ball. Southwest has the ball once again. Shoots a three. Oh, so close. Dunbar inbounds the ball, taking it down the court. Pulls up for the three, but misses. Southwest gets the rebound. <laughs> Dribbling down the court. Let's see what they do with it. Some nice passes. Ah, uh, and just too short. Dunbar gets the ball. Southwest trying to intervene. And 
And I think it looks like maybe a foul. Oh. Add on Dunbar. It's going to be Southwest ball. They take it down the court. Shoots a deep. Ah, oh, too much power. Dunbar scores a three, leaving the score 16 to nine. A foul on Dunbar. Still a great shot. If there's one thing we can see about number 13, he's gonna shoot it. Southwest trying to make something happen. Four minutes left. And Southwest scores. I'm pretty sure the winner of this game goes on to the championships. Hey, great shot by Donovan Davis. And a missed three. Southwest gets the rebound. Intercepted by Dunbar. Dunbar setting something up. Shoots a three. And it's too much. It misses. <coughs> Good block. Good block by Southwest. Shoots another three by Dunbar. Does not make it in. Dunbar shoots again. Misses one more time. And Southwest gets the rebound. Oh my God. Ooh. Southwest trailing, trying to make something happen in these last two and a half minutes. Uh, shoots a deep one, but this time not enough power. Wide open three, mm, too short. We have a timeout on Southwest. After the timeout, we come back to the game with a score of 18 to 11 with Dunbar winning. Oh, 
one goes down. It gets back up. Southwest has the ball, shoots a three. Oh, so close. Watch your back. Watch your back. Dunbar taking the ball up. Trying to make something happen. Dunbar still passing the ball around. Shoots a three. Oh, barely misses. Southwest gets the rebound. Ooh, you, you love to see the huts of these two teams. Well, only 50 seconds left. It looks like Dunbar might win this one. Unless Southwest pulls out some big stunts. Thirty seconds left. Dunbar has possession of the ball. Oh, a rebound by Southwest after a missed shot. Southwest has a counterattack and be quick. Pulls up for the three. Ah. Uh, Southwest misses and after 10 seconds left, it looks like Dunbar is going to be victorious on this one. Oh, that ball goes flying out of bounds with one second left. And it looks like Dunbar is going to win this game 18 to 11. We'll join you in the finals in this next upcoming game.
Odie White driving the ball. They shoot. Ooh, just a little short. 42 tall passes. In Now Bar looking for something. Passes the ball. Shot, no good. Puts it back, no good. Odie Wise looking for something. Driving the ball up the court. They're pushing her up. Easy lane. I already can see it right now. Oh, no, he misses it. Got a foul. Got foul, foul on five. Blue of Dunbar. The Odie Wise ball. Dunbar brings the ball down the court, shoots three, misses. 40 picks up the ball, pass to 35, three, and he misses again. Dunbar's looking to put it back up. I haven't found the shot yet. Pass over to him. Thirty-five, looks to drive, Shoots. lays, no good. Looking for something. Forty comes up, passes off to thirty-five. Five shoots. That's not it. That, that's just not it. Forty-two looks to shoot the ball. Uh-oh, Miss Lady. No, ma'am. It's not good. Thirty-five shoots again, misses. Back to thirty-five again, and he makes the three. First point in the game. Seventeen has the ball for Odie Wyatt. He oh looking for something. Ten shoots, no. and barely misses. 42 passing the ball back to his team, coming back for Dunbar. <laughs> 35 gets the ball again. And Odie Wyatt gets the ball, 14. Oh, it comes down bar. 35 for again. Oh. We'll look there for it. Can't find it. Dunbar looks to lay the ball up and misses. misses. In and out. It's crazy. 11 running for Odie Wyatt down, down the court. Shoot. Miss. Great layup by Dunbar. Got a substitution for Odie Watt, the Chaparral. Shoots, miss, just barely misses. 
A good split by the Saparellas. Number 17 can move the ball real well. Looks to pull it up. No good, he looks for it. Passes the ball number 10. Number 10 passes the ball number 20. Looking for something. Oh, finds hole, that's a good, oh, never mind. That, never oh. mind. Tony has the ball looking for something. Throw in for Dunbar. Oh. Number two shoots, layup. Dunbar is looking for something. Oh, shoots it. Oh, uh, no good. Taken by 17 for Odie Wyatt, taking it down the court. He's going to take it all the way. He's looking for something. Pulls it back. Still dribbling. Looking for a lane. Check the ball to the rim. But his foot was out on the baseline. It's going to be. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's a foul. Shot. Oh. Three. Right, number 10, Odie Wyatt. <coughs> what a great shot. By Odie Wyatt. The Chaparral. There we go. And here comes number 17 again. Look at the lane. And one. The Chaparrals. Doing something amazing right now. Why are you talking to me? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Looking for something here. Oh, good spin off it. He takes a three. Oh. No good. Tim Dumbar Dump the ball right there. All the way to 21. Down the court. on the floor with a cramp it looks like. Pause the game.
Kai, we're taking a brief pause for injuries. What are your thoughts on the this this um, tournament today? It was good all around. Every game was close, evenly matched. Um, like I said, they could just continue to play as a team, and I think everybody did good today. What are, you, what are your thoughts? What do you think? I think I think it's cool how these teams they're like they're equal and they they're it's very competitive. I like that. Everybody's playing hard. Yeah. We're starting the first half back up. Dunbar with the ball, number 35. And there goes the Tiberell. Take the ball up the court. Lays, left hand, no good. 11. Puts it back, no good. Dunbar picks the ball back up, though. Dribbling really fast. All the way down the court. Good stutter stop. Lay, oh. no good. Put back, no good. Odie Wyatt. 14, Odie Wyatt. Pushing the ball up. Oh. Looks to shoot it. He shoots. Oh. Just barely missed it. Denied. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dunbar with the ball, number five. Shoots. Right, and this is the final. About to be the second quarter or second half, second half of the championship game for the Unified Championship Southwest Fourth Annual 2024. Odie Wyatt's in the lead, in a 7 4 lead. Let's see if Dunbar can come back. Just one three. That's all they need to tie the game. Dunbar inbounds the ball. Giving up the court. Rebound. 
Dunbar shoots an open three. Uh, doesn't quite make it. Forty takes the ball. He shoots, shoots. Oh, a, a nice three by three. number forty on Dunbar. That's exactly what they needed to tie this bear back in this game. Odie Wyatt with the ball, taking it down the court, number twenty. Looking for somewhere to go. Odie 17. Wyatt passes up to seventeen. like that basket's not going to count, but it's going to be white ball. 17 with the ball. He goes in for the layup, and he makes it. <laughs> 40 for Dunbar with the ball, looking for somewhere to go as he takes it down the court. He throws to 21, sh shoots, and misses. 17 with the ball for Odie Wyatt, coming back. Eleven with the sh with the shot, but he misses just barely. Eleven with the layup, and he makes that. Looks like Odie Wyatt and Dunbar are really greatly matched team. They both two aggressive teams mm -hmm. that have almost dominated their competition today. Yes. All right, number forty for Dunbar. Pass to twenty-one. Thirty-five fighting for the ball to pass to forty. Back to twenty-one. He shoots. And Ooh, makes drains a three. It looks like Dunbar does have what it takes to catch up. Let's see if they can continue to keep fighting for this lead. Get that lead, yeah. All right, 20 with the ball coming down the court for Odie Wyatt. Pass to 10. He shoots. Misses. 11. Ten, 20 with the ball. And makes the layup. Got some subs coming in. Looks like on both teams. Let's mix the game up. See what happens. You can really see how these teams, especially Odiawaya, works together. Looks like everybody's a core player. No one's left out. They have that teamwork, that friendship, you know. All right, 40 from Dunbar with the ball, taking it down the court. Pass to number two. He shoots. This is down by the number rebound, two, the three. number three, and he makes it clean. And tied like right that, back tied up, up. Th 13 to 13. Seven and a half minutes left on the clock. Ten from Odie Wyatt shoots for three, misses. Odie Wyatt gets the rebound. Looking for somewhere to go. Goes 17 up. 17 shoots. Makes a and nice layup. Makes a layup. <laughs> Odie Wyatt dropping back to defense. Dunbar looking for a way to score. Uh, Number 20 from Odie Wyatt takes the ball, taking it down the court. Heavy defense from number two from Dunbar. It looks like a foul on Dunbar. Number two, passes it, intercepted by number 17 for Odie Wyatt. He takes it down the court, looking for somewhere to pass it. Number 10 shoots, 20. Going deep on this one, number 21 gets the ball. Goes in for the layup, layup and, and it's it. just like that again. It's a tied game. Six minutes left on the clock. All right. The 
sec. Okay, foul on 40, it seems like. For 40 for Dunbar. Throw in for White. Number 11 seems like he's going to take the ball. Looking for somewhere to pass it. He passes to number 20. When he goes in for the shot and he makes it. Oh, 40 from Bun Dunbar takes the ball, drives in the middle, he shoots, layup, and he makes it. Just back to back this team. They keep going head to head. When one scores, the other one is right behind them. Just like ping pong. Number 20 with the ball for Odie Wyatt, going down the court. 17 takes the ball. And he shoots, layup, nope. Dunbar gets the rebound, goes down the court quickly, wasting no time. Number two comes up with the oh, layup and 17 misses. steals it for Odie Wyatt. He's coming back down the court. This game is back and forth, chaos, but it's amazing. 17 shoots. It looks like a foul on Dunbar. Will be White's ball. Odie White gets the ball. Four minutes left. Tied score. Number 20 from Odie Wyatt takes the ball. Oh, and he just barely misses his layup. We have some subs going in for Odie Wyatt. from Dunbar takes the ball. He's going down the court. And he passed the 35 who shoots and makes it. Back to 17-19. Three minutes left on the clock. Odie Wyatt inbounds the ball. Slowly but surely getting down the court. Looking for someone to pass to. 20, takes it himself, cuts back, fakes, ooh, gets blocked. And Dunbar gets Dunbar possession of the ball. Pass to 21, who misses the catch, but he, finally, he gets the ball. Out on Dunbar. Some subs on both sides, and it's going to be Odie White's ball. for Odie Wyatt, he's taking it down the court. Pass to number 17. Looks like Dunbar is finally holding a lead. Let's see if they can. Number two with the ball, he shoots. There goes Dunbar's lead even further. Odie Wyatt quickly puts a ball in. Desperately, desperately trying to make up those those points. He uh, shoots for the three and misses. 14 shoots, nothing. Number two from Dunbar takes the ball down the court, looking for somewhere to pass. Number 21, Dunbar passes 35. He passes it back to number two. This team just Shoots the wide open three. Oh, uh, it doesn't make it. Take it by 17, back down the court. Less than a minute side. left in this game. And Dunbar gets the rebound. 
50 seconds remaining. Let's see if ODY can get this lead. They're four points down. Number 14 gets the ball. Ooh. A quick sub. He got three, he got three. Clock stopped at 40 seconds. Looks like we have a technical foul. We're gonna get two free shots for ODY. Number 20 looks like he's gonna be taking the shots. This could really change the game right here. 40 seconds left, two free, two free throws. Could be anyone's game. 17 shoots. Uh, misses the first three throw. All right, second shot. This is what everyone's waiting for. Uh, and he misses again. <laughs> it's still ODY's ball. 39 seconds. with the ball for O.D. Wyatt. This is their last chance to catch up in this game. He's looking for somewhere to put it. O.D. Wyatt desperately the needs these points. Shoots three, and, and he it's makes in. it. All right, this could be a game up. changer. If they this stop on defense, this game could be over. If O.D. Wyatt can shoot one more time and make it two. O.D. Wyatt has to play great defense on this. Ball. And it looks like the ball. Dunbar gets the ball <laughs> in an attempt to seal the game. He shoots, he shoots. and he, he misses. misses. Seven seconds left on the clock. And it looks like, it looks like the game Dunbar over. are the 2024 Unified Basketball Champions. Congratulations. <laughs> Both Congratulations. of these teams fought yep. hard, and that was crazy at the end. Yep, what an unexpected turn. Dunbar coming back from a Looking to see if they can get down. a couple more seconds on the clock. Ball game. This is a pretty nice That coach. is game. Dunbar is the 2024 Unified Champions. Four years in a row. They've won every single year of this competition. This is just another year to add to their streak. Congratulations to the entire team. And shout out to all of our teams that came out today. Thank you to our Southwest students and teachers who came to the games and supported our school and the others. This was an impressive championship, and we can't wait to do it next year. So you're, this is Chloe Sule signing off. And this is Dilly Craver signing off. Number one. Um, good afternoon, everyone. I uh, just want to start by saying absolutely one of my favorite days of the school year is our unified basketball tournament. Obviously, there are no losers from any of the schools that came and participated today. I'm uh, so super proud of all the athletes, all your accomplishments, all your hard work. Thank you to the teachers, to the organizers of our events to all the principals for making this day special in Fort Worth ISD. So with that being said, our first runner up this year, O.D. Wade High School.
Let's give it up one more time for D. White High School. And now for our unified champions. Before I get to make the announcement, I want to thank Lynn McGuff and our <coughs> Lynn and our Fort Worth ISD team. Fort Worth ISD, if you guys could put your hands up for all that you do to make tonight's event go off. We appreciate you so much. And again, to all the teachers and sponsors, parents and kids, thank you all for being winners. Now, today's champion, Dunbar High School. Here you go, coach. Congratulations. Again, thank you all for coming, and let's give it up one more time for Dunbar High School.